Mickey Payne, we know you are a foodie, you love to cook, you love to eat, and you're here with great ideas. It looks beautiful on elevating our breakfast. Yeah, and I'm using a great line of Krupp's appliances. So they're a well-known, trusted German brand, and they've been in business for over 170 years. Wow. So I want to show you some great ideas for elevating your weekday lunches to sort of like a Sunday brunch status. Yeah. So one of the first things is this really great um, deluxe convection toaster oven. So it uses rapid heat technology. Look at the size of it. First of all, you can fit a whole chicken in there. Love it. You can also put in two 12-inch pizzas. And just an idea for breakfast so you know like you can make your own um, breakfast pastries or like your homemade can you open it up for us we want to yeah. look inside and see the magic the magic <laughs> Imagine well that's you what you could put in there you can also <laughs> make like batches of homemade cookies but a really easy idea is to buy pie dough you can buy it in the refrigerated or freezer section of okay. the grocery store it'll just make your life so much easier and then you're making these little charts here these little pastries that look Super fancy, like you went out and you bought them, but it's easy. You can just fill it with jam or whatever, you know, maybe cooked fruit that you have. Sweet or savory, really. Exactly. So, I mean, I know we're short on time, but basically, this is basically how I made it. Is I just took some of my favorite jam, yeah. spread it in, and then you would just crimp the edges at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And another great thing about the convection toaster oven there is that it has eight preset functions. So for the things that you cook most often, you can bake, you can broil, pizza, all that. So it makes it just really easy when you're cooking for your family. And look how impressive to say that you made that yourself. <laughs> this I'm one impressed. less impressive, these a bit more impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of things that you can be doing in there. Another thing that I wanted to show you is, we, okay, toast, yes. we all know toast. But what about sweet potato toast? So if you're thinking of a way to get maybe some veggies into your Smart. breakfast, or for people who are, let's say, gluten-free and you know maybe just wanting yeah. something a little bit different. So this here, these are slices of thinly cut sweet potato that have been done in the toaster. Okay, how so many would, minutes? Well, this you would just use the setting. I like to turn it up. The great thing is that this Krupp's four slice toaster yeah. also has a um, high lever, and it has like a cancel button, and it has defrost. So the great thing is, is I would turn it all the way up. There's seven browning levels. So depending depending on how light or dark you like your toast yeah. normally. But I would run this through twice. If you happen to cut it a little bit too thick, let's say, that's fine. You would just you know, pop Give it in again, time. have your coffee and keep going. And look at how great that is. Isn't it? And then just put on your favorite topping. So, you know, during the week, maybe you're a little bit more rushed, but during the weekend, you could be doing this for brunch so as well. So cucumber and cream cheese, you don't say. This is my first sweet potato toast. Is it? It's going to be magical. My girlfriend does it all the time. Does she? It's really, I mean, it can be mm. very healthy for you if you do an option like this. That's delicious. And I like this. This has an extra deep slot, so you can just like, you can put your big slices of sweet potato it's in there as well. Right? Oh, so you've done Thanks. that. What's that? Thanks. A beet hummus? It's like a great beet hummus. And then we've got, you know, the take on avocado toast. You could just spread that out with some hard-boiled egg. And that's a great breakfast right there. Whole meal right there. Yeah. And then the other thing is you want to, of course, round out your great breakfast with, uh, you know, coffee or tea. For me, the first yeah. thing in the morning is coffee. So this is a really wonderful 12-cup coffee maker. And I know I wanted to give people an idea to make sort of um, their, their coffee a little bit more fall-inspired. So Jazz pumpkin it. spice. Exactly. Um, you can buy a pumpkin spice at bulk food stores or make your own with like cinnamon, nutmeg, a couple of other um, spices. Okay. And then you would just put a teaspoon into your coffee grounds as you're brewing it. Another great feature about this is that you can program it so that before you go to bed, you can program it and then the coffee's brewing and wake you, you up wake in the up morning. wake up to the aroma. Yes. That's and so one beautiful. more quick thing. This kettle, I know you're looking at it, you're like, I know how to boil water. Yeah. <laughs> but the fantastic thing is it has five different temperature presets for people who want to customize their coffee or their tea because with different kinds of tea, you need different temperatures. water temperatures. It's true. And so it's really important because a lot of people tend to burn their green tea. Yeah. So with something like this, you just pick the right temperature and you're good to go. Beautiful ideas. And guess what? Thank you so much. We want to give a shout out to Krups because see all of these things. They're going to give it away. One of you lucky ducks are going to win this toaster oven, the coffee maker, the digital electronic kettle and the toaster. The value is 370 bucks. To enter, go to breakfasttelevision.ca, click on contest, try sweet potato toast. It's actually delicious. Thanks, Pei. You're welcome. Right now over to Kev. <laughs> it's really good. Thanks for my lunch. Mmm. <laughs>